While snow has turned roads treacherous all over Metro Detroit this morning, it was a little different scene, but familiar problems along I-75, those darn potholes. And today, another batch of drivers paid the price for driving that very crumbling stretch that forced emergency repairs last week. Kim DiGiulio back with a closer look at what has become an ongoing chronic problem. Oh, it is the worst. We all know it all too well. And that stretch of I-75, it's about seven miles of northbound I-75 starting at 13 mile and even after last week's problems, drivers are being caught by surprise. It was northbound I-75. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful is right. Northbound I-75 between 13 Mile and Crooks was a danger zone. Drivers were dodging multiple potholes on their morning commute. That's where the roadway is uh, aging to the point of we knew it was time to rebuild it, which is why the project starts in early March. This poor driver, Jason Flint, was on his way to work when he suddenly got not one, but two flat tires after hitting a pothole on I-75 at 14 Mile. Because at first I thought it was just one tire and then we got out and we got some of the snow out of the way and we saw that like, oh, we had two tires that were flat. He wasn't alone. Roadside assistance was busy all morning in that same area. I mean, I got roadside assistance. They were, they responded pretty promptly. So, I mean, it could be a lot worse. The potholes were patched up, but the area still isn't safe. Those potholes could come back. Anything we put in the ground, it definitely is temporary. But as long as we warm up and then have the extreme cold at night, we're going to have more of these potholes popping up between now and early March when we close the road. In March, the northbound lanes will close while northbound I-75 traffic will share the southbound lanes with southbound I-75 traffic. It's all a part of the modernized I-75 project. Now, for that modernized I-75 project, the northbound lanes of I-75 in Oakland County are expected to be finished at the end of this year. But once those are finished, the southbound lanes will need to be redone, and that's expected to start early 2020. Now, the gentleman you spoke to, I thought he was so calm. Uh, yes, was, I'd have been but, furious oh, given in the, best in the snow. Yes, it. yes, yes. But overall, drivers are frustrated. They are. Do you, does MDOT get the sense that they understand how frustrating it is for all of us out there? Big time. Diane Cross, Cr Diane Cross, who I was talking to earlier, she says that, you know, people, some people avoid that stretch of mm -hmm. I-75, and yeah. that's why this modernized I-75 project is in place, but they can't start it until the weather warms up, and that's why it's starting in March. Mm. Yep. So, exactly. In the meantime, beware. Yes, yeah. be careful. All right, more to come.